proper way to declare custom exceptions in modern Python? What's the proper way to declare custom exception classes in modern Python? My primary goal is to follow whatever standard other exception classes have, so that, for instance, any extra string I include in the exception is printed out by whatever tool caught the exception. By modern Python, I mean something that will run in Python 2.5 but be correct for the Python 2.6 and Python 3 asterisk way of doing things. And by custom, I mean an exception object that can include extra data about the cause of the error, a string, maybe also some other arbitrary object relevant to the exception. I was tripped up by the following deprecation warning in Python 2.6.2. It seems crazy that base exception has a special meaning for attributes named message. I gather from pep352 that attribute did have a special meaning in 2.5 they're trying to deprecate away, so I guess that name, and that one alone, is now forbidden. Ugh. I'm also fuzzily aware that exception has some magic parameter args, but I've never known how to use it. Nor am I sure it's the right way to do things going forward, a lot of the discussion I found online suggested they were trying to do away with args in Python 3. Update, two answers have suggested overriding underscore underscore init underscore underscore, and underscore underscore str underscore underscore forward slash underscore underscore unicode underscore underscore forward slash underscore underscore repper underscore underscore. That seems like a lot of typing, is it necessary? Maybe I missed the question, but why not? To override something, or pass extra args, do this. That way you could pass dict of error messages to the second param, and get to it later with e.errors. In Python 2, you have to use this slightly more complex form of super. With modern Python exceptions, you don't need to abuse dot message, or override dot underscore underscore str underscore underscore, or dot underscore underscore repra underscore underscore, or any of it. If all you want is an informative message when your exception is raised, do this. That will give a traceback ending with my exception column my hovercraft is full of eels. If you want more flexibility from the exception, you could pass a dictionary as the argument. However, to get at those details in an accept block is a bit more complicated. The details are stored in the args attribute, which is a list. You would need to do something like this. It is still possible to pass in multiple items to the exception and access them via tuple indexes, but this is highly discouraged, and was even intended for deprecation a while back. If you do need more than a single piece of information and the above method is not sufficient for you, then you should subclass exception as described in the tutorial. What is the proper way to declare custom exceptions in modern Python? This is fine unless your exception is really a type of a more specific exception. Or better, maybe perfect, instead of pass give a doc string. Subclassing exception subclasses. From the docs. Exception all built in, non system exiting exceptions are derived from this class. All user defined exceptions should also be derived from this class. That means that if your exception is a type of a more specific exception, subclass that exception instead of the generic exception, and the result will be that you still derive from exception as the docs recommend. Also, you can at least provide a doc string and not be forced to use the pass keyword. Set attributes you create yourself with a custom underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Avoid passing a dict as a positional argument, future users of your code will thank you. If you use the deprecated message attribute, assigning it yourself will avoid a deprecation warning. There's really no need to write your own underscore underscore str underscore underscore or underscore underscore repper underscore underscore. 
The built-in ones are very nice, and your cooperative inheritance ensures that you use them. Critique of the top answer. Maybe I missed the question, but why not? Again, the problem with the above is that in order to catch it, you'll either have to name it specifically, importing it if created elsewhere, or catch exception, but you're probably not prepared to handle all types of exceptions, and you should only catch exceptions you are prepared to handle. Similar criticism to the below, but additionally that's not the way to initialize via super, and you'll get a deprecation warning if you access the message attribute. Edit, to override something, or pass extra args, do this. That way you could pass dictive error messages to the second from, and get to it later with e.errors. It also requires exactly two arguments to be passed in, aside from the self, no more, no less. That's an interesting constraint that future users may not appreciate. To be direct, it violates Liskov substitutability. I'll demonstrate both errors. Compared to As of Python 3.8, 2018, this URL, the recommended method is still. Please don't forget to document why a custom exception is necessary. If you need to, this is the way to go for exceptions with more data. And fetch them like Payload equals none is important to make it pickleable. Before dumping it, you have to call error. Underscore underscore reduce underscore underscore. Loading will work as expected. You maybe should investigate in finding a solution using Python's return statement if you need much data to be transferred to some outer structure. This seems to be clearer, more Pythonic to me. Advanced exceptions are heavily used in Java, which can sometimes be annoying when using a framework and having to catch all possible errors. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.